super solar flare in 2023 and the end of our civilization? This is how the end of civilization can begin. The super explosion destroys the power grid and all electronics, so that nothing in society works anymore. The new solar minimum will have increasingly far-reaching consequences for life on Earth in the coming years. Added to this is another, acute threat. As our planet's magnetic field, our protective shield against cosmic rays, weakens, a leading scientist at the Climate Science Center, is warning that our planet could be hit by a catastrophic super solar flare as early as 2023. This isn't just a theory, because the cosmic wave that caused a similar solar flare at our neighboring star Proxima Centauri in 2019 now appears to be headed our way too. In 2017, NASA published a report expressing concerns about the now underway solar minimum. No big bursts of solar flares are expected, but huge holes sometimes lasting months in the sun's corona, through which solar particles can escape at high speed and strike the Earth's magnetic field. In this way, satellites, as well as electrical and electronic installations on the surface of the planet, can be damaged or even permanently disabled. It can also endanger public health. One such explosion caused massive power outages in April 2017 in several major U.S. cities. Climate Science Center scientist David Moriello is more concerned about the declining magnetic field and a possible polar reversal and the new solar minimum and global cooling. Within the next year, we could see the combined effects of a declining magnetosphere. A side effect of magnetic reversals or anomalies that could cause Earth's magnetic field to drop below 10% of its maximum, combined with a powerful plasma jet from the Sun. A recent study, based on observations from nine telescopes, including the well-known Hubble Space Telescope, showed that on May 1, 2019, the closest star to our solar system, Proxima Centauri, had an unprecedentedly powerful explosion, a violent explosion, which exploded 100 times more powerful than the explosions of our own Sun. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf at a distance of 4.25 light-years from Earth. This explosion at Proxima Centauri had the power of an X200 plus explosion from our own Sun. Note that our Sun's strongest flare was just an X45. This was measured in 2003 and luckily it was not aimed at our planet. The Carrington event of 1859 is also believed to have been caused by an X45 explosion. Because our society was not yet dependent on electronics, the consequences were limited. Moriello hypothesizes that if the latest knowledge about the existence of some kind of a galactic Berglund current wave is correct, this cosmic wave that hit Proxima Centauri in 2019 is now on its way to Earth at almost the speed of light. This means that this wave could hit the Sun in the summer of 2023, causing a similarly large explosion. It doesn't even need to aim directly at our planet to wreak unprecedented destruction through the halo effect and bombard our world into the Stone Age. A recent super explosion in Barnard's star, 5,978 light years away, is a strong indication that this is more than just a theoretical possibility. The flare in this star occurred at the expected interval. Due to the shrinking magnetosphere, an average X flare is already enough to wipe out 90% of our civilization, which has become highly dependent on electronics and electricity. The coming galactic wave could also provide the final push to start a rapid polar reversal. You should be ready by August 2023, Moriello said.